two Goodwill employees were going, I can't believe somebody bought those. <laughs> so these are newer, but they're cute. They're like the kind they sell at Ikea. I love that there's three. Let's see what's under there. George W. something is under that. Okay, I just found literally the score of the day. Look what I see, look what I see, it's right in front of me. Oh, we got a cart, let's see. I've been a reseller for nearly 40 years, and I can't imagine my life without thrifting. I've learned about a lot of things over the years, and I love to share my knowledge and adventures with you. So let's go be profitable and make it fun. My car is empty. Let's see how long it can stay empty. I am at the Goodwill and it's a Tuesday, which I was told was a really good restocking day because on Mondays here, they do the dollar sale day and it's really crazy. And so they do a lot of stocking up and a new color goes on sale. So we'll have to see what the color is. Uh, but I'm just here to find what I can find for resale as usual. And I don't know, maybe a thing or two for personal. That always happens too. But let's get in there and let's get shop done. Okay, our color is gray and we need us a lucky cart. I think we found it right there. Look what I see, look what I see, it's right in front of me. That's actually the perfect size. How much is it? <gasps> There's no tag. Does some, has somebody already claimed this? Oh man, I think somebody already claimed it because it doesn't have a sticker on it. That is a bummer. Today is a good day. I'm actually putting that in the cart. I like it, it's got blue, it's going up on my wall, and it's only $4.99. I'm over here in the kids' linens, and I see this. Ooh, is this the one I saw last time? Did anybody get a price on it yet? Look, no, see, it's just gonna sit here and not get a price on it. It's so frustrating. <sighs> I just don't want to do their work for them, guys. I just don't. So what's going to happen? I take this up there for them to get a price on it, and then uh, somebody else gets to buy it. You know? I know. That sounds really maybe even a little petty of me, but I think if they have to do the work to go through the shelves and find their things without price tags, it will make them rethink the policy. Now this one does have to, I don't know how I feel about this. Uh, here we go. It's $2.99. I love the fabric. I'm not so wild about this lace, but let's, let's get it over here and see what it looks like. Okay, here it is. It's like little Valentine's. Happy, cute with love, sing happy, dear little bunnies. It's bunnies and deers and I just, mmm, this lace is throwing me just a little bit. And then it's just pink quilted on the back. How much did I say it was? Like $2.99? I think I will go ahead and get it. Okay, look, I'm gonna do it because I'm not a petty person. <sighs> but it's gonna, it's gonna really bother me if I come back and it's not here. Get freaky at the tiki. <laughs> okay, that's kind of funny. Okay, gray, gray, gray tags are the color that just started today. So I think most of their holiday stuff has black tags on it. It's a special color all into itself. I don't know, that one's got purple. Oh, maybe that was just pre-Christmas um, in July. Maybe it is regular tags now, which that's nice. Oh, look at those gold branches. Oh, 
you are seven dollars each i do love these for decorating purposes though i think i'm going to put them in the cart oh wow look at him he's a he's a whole marionette little thing here battery operated though so not that old but how cool is that definitely not something that I would enjoy shipping oh that's very plastic very very plastic it's older though it's actually a vintage plastic clock hmm dear quartz I wonder if that's like 80s it's not corroded well is it no that's dust I might actually give this one just a little bit of a look up, just uh, because it is so vintage. Okay, I really couldn't find anything and I turned it over to see if there was like a serial number or something and realized it says 5EO2001 and I think it's just like a 2001 clock, so it's not like 70s super old. It's cool, but I'm going to leave it. Alright, look at these little candle holders that say Funny Luchter. <laughs> Hmm, I don't know what's so funny about that, but don't they look Scandinavian? They are made in West Germany, actually. Aus feinem porcelain. So there are three missing, it appears. There, what was that? Two, four, six, seven. So there was ten, now there's just seven. I don't know that I would ship the candles, but I wonder if... Oh, they're six dollars. Mm -mm -mm -mm. You know what? I would have no problem paying six dollars if all of them were there. But because I, I'm really just looking at the candle holders. You know what? I, I think I'm gonna leave those. All right, we've got other stuff other than Christmas on these Christmas shelves, so it's always good to look. Oh, you a Hummel missing an entire arm there. Look at the face, and yet poor little. Is that? It's got hooves. Is it a goat? I'm not exactly sure what that little creature is. A deer? I'm not sure. I don't know if there is a Hummel mark underneath there. I suspect there is, but look at somebody already tried to peel and look and couldn't get to it. So, such a shame. Just a box. Ooh, a box that doesn't close. Those are some pretty pots. They asking for those Ooh, heavy pots these would be for me this would not be for resale um seriously no price let's look on the bottom oh yeah red tag 25 25 dollars not not super tempting at 25 10 10 and i would have had a hard time leaving these behind oh that is very pink I don't see anything on this shelf. Let's see if there's anything on this shelf. That looks vintage, but it's not super exciting vintage. It's got a little damage up here. Don't know who makes it. It looks very 70s. It could be cool in the right decor, but I am looking for resale items, mainly. So these are newer, but they're cute. They're like the kind they sell at Ikea. I love that there's three. Like they were blue tagged and somebody went over them with red tag. Grr. Ugh. And the red tag means there's no senior discount. Otherwise, like $8 uh, would be 20% off for me. So that makes it a little more palatable. They're so cute though. That like nice little set, but we'll leave them. I did notice the sign up front that said they're doing a red tag sale on Saturday, so we're liable to find a lot of things with red tags. There is a little reproduction sign from Hobby Lobby. Let's see, the blue chicken has made its way over to this side. It used to be on the other side. Look at these guys. Are they bookends? Oh, broken. Very broken. See, they would have had another whole piece, probably. They came up here, and they would have been the guards of the books. Well, that is quite the fake succulent little planter. Popcorn. What are you? A 
What does that say? It's from Africa. J uh, Djibouti, Africa? That is very interesting. That is a very hard wood carving. For $4.99, you know what? That's interesting enough to pick up. And while we're on this side, we'll just see what we can see from this side. But I might not see from the other side, like all of these little fishies and starfish for $2.99. Uh, yes, please. Okay, we're going to go around to the other side here in just a moment. These are more of those uh, horses, the Tyler Vincent. That what, Tyler Vincent wasn't the name on the other one I got, but it was very similar, only bigger. These are $6.99 each. Oh, she's missing an arm. Darn it. Baby Jesus, that does not look comfortable. And there's this cute little girl, but her halo is broken. Oh, look at that, right over that old vintage tag. So whoever gets this would have to be so careful about lifting that up so you don't tear that original tag off. This one, St. Louis Blues. Also, uh, that, is that a Joseph Originals? It is a Joseph Originals. Sadly missing, again, the halo. Okay, angels, what's the story with uh, losing your halos? And yep, it's still here and it's moved. It's now just sitting here waiting to be discovered without its tag. That's interesting. <laughs> this old rope laced in it. Contemporary. Bent. What are you? You're plastic. Oh, you're plastic and broken. This is Polish glass. I do like to pick these up. They're little lanterns. You put an, like an oil lantern. You put a wick in there and some oil for burning. Or it could hold a little stick of incense also for $3.99. I'll pick that up. a cute little sign. I believe in embracing change and trusting the process. That's really sweet. It's a Demdaco for $2.99. Sure. That's very blue. Very plain. Not too exciting. It's a nice little desk organizer. Oh look! comes complete with paper clips. See a cute little pig. Who makes you a cute little pig? You're a planter. He's actually got a little drainage hole on the bottom. So there is a name under there. I see it. I see your name. Your name is... Oh, Roman. Okay, Roman's not a terrible brand. I think we'll pick him up for $2.99. Behind the football, I'm seeing this plate that looks like the type that I've gotten that have been anthropology. This one, World Market. He's kind of cool. It's kind of cool. Hi, folks. Ah, plates are just really, plates are tough. Every time I pick them up, I regret it. That's very interesting. I don't think this is old. No, it's, it's, um, it's like that resiny, lightweight, yeah, wall shelf was $25. It's cool. It would be really nice in somebody's backyard, but it's, I couldn't get enough for this because of the price of the shipping to make it worthwhile to deal with it. It's a lot of, a lot of hassle factor in a piece that big for very, very little profit. Here's another one. Look at this beautiful angel. Beautiful. Beautiful little yard ornaments, but they have to stay. But there is one up here that doesn't look too large. Let's look at her. Okay, ah, oh, broken. She's broken. All right, she wouldn't have been too bad because she'd be a little easier to ship. 
just looks like somebody totally redid their yard and donated all their angels. Oh, missed this. I think I saw this last time I was here. Cute. Oh yeah, not priced. Not priced. Okay, that's a cool glass bottle. Probably a recycled glass. Definitely don't want to ship this. They're asking 20. And then there's a smaller version of it. How much is that one? That one's 13. Yeah, I think we're we're gonna leave those. I see some stained glass underneath this thing of a jigger right here. Oops, scooch over. Let's see what we've got. We've got We've got a bear playing basketball is what we've got. And he's, look at, look at his teeth. It's pretty funny. I don't know, is a bear playing basketball something people would want? I don't, I don't know. I don't know if he's some particular team. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave him. Oh, we got a cart, let's see. Restocking time is always my favorite. Oh wow, look at all my glassware stocked in there. <gasps> Starfish. Oh, let me see if I can rescue you. Oh, you're beautiful. Yes, I'm gonna take the starfish. Let's see what else is in here. A little trinket dish. $2.99. See. I don't know how old these are. I say these because I see another one over there. $1.99. I think I can probably swing $1.99 even if they aren't super old. Those are super cool. And oh, I thought it was a real Nautilus shell. It's not. It's, it's um, ceramic, pottery, pottery, and it's chip. Goodness, why couldn't I think of that? Uh, if you find the real ones of these, they do really, really well. Okay, that's all in that one. Okay, medals, give me an H. So those big old letters. Oh, that's actually pottery. I thought it was metal for a minute. My brain deceived me. Oh, that's a shame. Squirrel with a chip. A frog folk frames by Ruth Reynolds. It's kind of cute for 99 cents. I think we'll pick that up. And I don't see anything exciting here. I don't see anything exciting here except now you're new and you're very scratched. Gamer rules, little chalkboard arrow. Little chalkboard arrow could be very functional somewhere. What's this? Baskets and a little bit of rough shape. <gasps> what are you? You look older. Let's see, what's under there? George W. something is under that tag really scratched up. Usually these old tins do get quite, quite bookered up. Okay. I'm going to leave that because of the damage. I would have grabbed that had it not been so scratched up. Stand back a little bit. See if anything grabs my attention. Pretty little box. 99 cents. Yeah, I can get behind 99 cents because I get boxes like this and use them for shipping some of the better jewelry pieces that I sell. That's really pretty too. You know what? I want to get that. There is a set of bookends. They're like, yeah, they're interesting, but like not super exciting. They don't really grab me. Okay, I got, I got told I missed this the last time I was at the store, and that's because. It's been here a while and it's been it's been in a video before where I looked at it. It's very 90s. Uh, it's very chipped at the bottom and it's also not priced. So that's why I skipped it last time. So if it's still here next time, you'll know why I skipped it. All right, 
right, let's see what we've got here. Those are kind of fun and cool, but damaged. Oh, it's another interesting candle holder. It has no weight to it. It's almost like a balsa wood, which really threw me off. I thought that was going to have a little substance to it. $4.99. We will leave those for $4.99. Oh, and we'll look at that. Oh my goodness. It is uh, sand dollars and starfish tic-tac-toe. That's pretty cool. It was a Hobby Lobby thing. It's that's pretty that's pretty fun, but I don't know how much value that has actually. It doesn't even work as a good decorative item unless you just put it on a table like near your ocean kind of setting. Now, nah, I think I'm going to leave it. So I just sold the two that I picked up very similar to this, although this is all glass and it's going to shine through a lot better than the pottery one. Very Christmassy, and I hate to say it, but Christmas is around the corner. $4.99. We're grabbing it. Taking care of yourself instead of blaming others for not living up to your expectations is a Herculean task. Ooh, I like that. That's a cute, cute little box. It's pretty beat up though, pretty beat up. Write your address. Oh, it was like for a baby shower they used that, it looks like. This was here the last time I was here. Big Fork, Montana. These are uh, salad forks and they look brand new. They're still attached together. Pretty cool. Not like a super high-end collectible or a resale item, but they're so easy to ship and they're fun. We'll grab them. We're in that glassware section where something's really gotta really gotta be a standout. Oh, those are really pretty. Look at the little etched flowers on those. Not not enough for me to get it, but I do like them. If time was never an issue, there's so many more things that I would pick up. But I, I'm always weighing the time factor. <gasps> oh. Look at those. And I see those because there's another one up there. For $1.99 each. Those are so elegant. Oh, let me, let me grab that other one out. Show you that there is a pair. See those? I've never seen these before. I think those are really spectacular. Those I'm gonna grab. Oh. There's more of the green optic wine glasses. I will not be picking those up, but if somebody wants more of those, there they are. They had a whole bunch here a couple weeks ago and somebody grabbed them all and then they found more or somebody donated more. What are these? What are you? You're very chipped. So we can't get you, but I'm trying to figure out what you are. I'm looking right at it and I cannot for the life of me figure out what that is supposed to look like. What am I what am I not seeing? Anybody else see something that I'm not seeing? Let me know in the comments. Let's see what we can find in the mugs. All about meow cat person. Our name is Mud. That's a good brand. Is it in good shape? No. Is that? Oh, it's damaged. That's damaged. All right. We have to leave that. That is disappointing. <gasps> Look at this Hawaii mug. That's cool. Don't know who makes it. Look at the iridescence in that glaze. 
That is kind of cool with the little VW bug and the surfboards. For $1.99, we'll grab that one. What else have we got? Anything, anything. What's this doggy? A little Scotty dog. For, uh oh. Got $1.99.90. Why? They're so pretty. Alright, this guy. <laughs> Picture him in a big base, decorative. The two Goodwill employees were going, I can't believe somebody bought those. <laughs> so this price actually looks like it's stuck on long before that price was stuck on. So let's see what they do. All right, we're going to whiz through the plastic section. See, that's not plastic. It's candle holder. It came as a set of two. That's kind of cool. It's metal. I'm not going to get it, but I like it. can appreciate it. And also note, yeah, there's things here in the plastic section that are not plastic. This is why I look. Because you never know when you're going to find a tomato <laughs> dish. Clay art. Clay art used to sell really, really well. Now it's just, it's, you know, it's okay. It's okay. It's not like a, a big money maker anymore where it used to be. Funny, being in this business for, gosh, this is my 25th year selling online. I have been reselling long before that, but it's really crazy to watch how things have evolved and changed over the years. What is this? Oh, that is so cool. Man, it's got a little damage. $4.99. It's actually got a lot of damage. It's so cool though. I don't think I don't think that can be no. I can't. I can't overlook all that damage, but it's super cool. Oh my, look at that big bowl down there. Oh, it's grapes. I don't know why, but grapes just don't appeal to me that much. I, I Maybe it's just because they were so common along my years. I'm just, they, don't, they don't strike anything like unusual. They're not different enough, I guess. Everybody used grapes. And there's so much stuff out there with grapes that I just kind of, it doesn't do anything for me. Potter Studio. Oh, it's chipped. Hip Hop. That is a Ray Dunn. That's cute. But here's a birdhouse. I love the birdhouses if the price is right. So TJ Maxx sold out for 20 How much is Goodwill selling it for? Why do I feel like it's not priced? Oh, because it isn't. All right. Can't get it. Forever Sharp. Four Piece Gourmet Steak Knife Set. Never needs sharpening. Hmm. Noah, there's plenty here. So Noah is going to edit this video and tell me if I need to come back and get some of those for us. A little heart dish by Made in Portugal. I picked up a blue one the other day that's a plate. That's It's the same finish, but it's a flat plate in blue. I think I'll pick this up too. It's a nice little dish. Recipes. Oh, it's a little recipe box. Okay, would it have had a lid? Maybe? I don't know. I don't know. Okay, dolls. Dolls in the knife section. I'm wondering. Look, these are older dolls, aren't they? Dolls are not like not really my thing, so I'm not going to get them, but I feel like somebody was over here looking those dolls up. Possibly. There's some interesting little spreaders in here, including cats. One, two, three. I'm seeing if there's four. Are there four cats? I see the little rose bushes. One, two, three. Oh, there are four cats in there. There are four cats and then some cookie cutters and some other goodies. So there's two sets of spreaders and cookie cutters. Is that worth $4.99 to me? I mean, the, the 
spreaders are probably, I don't know, eight to ten dollars a set, maybe. And they are cats. They're kind of cool. All right, I'm gonna get it. Oh, I thought this was a bowl. Well, is it a bowl? Hold on. It's got a flat spot right here. Okay, stand by. That's how it goes. It is a bowl. I'm like, what would I do with that? It would make a cool little terrarium, wouldn't it? You could actually put some live plants in that. It's just another project that I don't have time for, so I'm gonna leave that for someone else, but I hope somebody grabs it and does something cool with it. All right, cool little bird cup. I think it would have had a a little cap on it. It's not old or anything. Kind of fun though. Oh, those are beautiful. Oh, do you hear it? <laughs> Wait, they only tested it just a little bit. Okay, maybe it'll, maybe it'll come on again. It's always a matter of me having the camera on, you know, at just the right time because nobody tests them for very long. But I'm sure some of you heard it. I'm sure you did. Okay. Let's see if there's anything else enticing in the plates. Those are just plain melamine. I love to buy melamine plates. They're fun to ship. Well, this is cool. Didn't I see one like this recently? It didn't have all of this marquetry in it. And I was trying to figure out, like, this one's a little bit more like a serving paddle. The one I saw before, it was questionable. That one makes sense. Oh, I like these. I like that speckly look in there, but I'm not gonna get them. I looked over and saw this little table. Like I'm looking at it, putting it on the patio and putting plants on it as it raises it up a little bit. It's not super sturdy, but I feel like it can be fixed up and it's only six bucks. So that one's coming with me. All right, bathroom section, we'll kind of breeze through, see what we can find. Oh, those are plastic. Don't want plastic mirrors. This is kind of the mishmash se section that you just, you don't know. You just never know what is going to be hiding in here. Like silly feet? What are silly feet? Magic shoehorns empty box that has found feet shall we say all right you hear it it's happening it's happening oh my oh, oh I uh, I'm not sure that's working all right we got some cookware I don't really deal with anything much in the cookware section. But again, like every other section I look, this I saw as they were putting it out. It's $14.99. I love the color. It is Tramontina, not Le Creuset. I feel like that still might be a really good price. So a used one sells for about $30, so can't pay $15 to sell it for $30. We'll have to pass on that one. Oh, it's a little bougie sized disco ball. Okay, I just found literally the score of the day. Anybody who's bought post-it notes knows how expensive they are. So $4.99, I'm getting this entire thing of post-it notes. Yay! And the testing just keeps going and going and going. This is over in the lamps. I think I have enough of these. For, oh, it's very broken. I have enough of these right now. Plus I just got that spectacular, the library index card that I'm going to be using to sort jewelry. So I think I got my jewelry situation all squared away and I'll be sure to share that with you as soon as that little project is complete. 
They just brought out a fresh rack of linens too. Let's see if there's anything exciting on here. Oh, I thought that was that um, Kleiben cat, Kilbin cat, however you say it, because the colors were right, but it's not. It's not, it's just a, it's just a, it's just a shape. I, I thought I saw whales there for a second too, but it's not, it's just a shape. That's very pink. That's very glittery. All right, I don't see anything exciting here. Just coming out. Okay, I found two pieces I'm absolutely in love with. I. I'm such a contrast. This one, I'm totally keeping this. And I think I'm gonna have a place like on my back patio. I have five, mine aren't koi. Mine are just oversized goldfish, but I love them. I love them. And the colors in this are just, they're so cool. And this one, I will resell. Uh, but look at, he's too cute to leave behind. I just can't. He's, $8.99. It says made by us just for you. Custom certified by art.com. So I don't know. I'm probably crazy, but I can't, I can't pass by the little duckling. And then we'll look through the more reasonably sized art. I don't know what tomorrow holds, but I know who holds tomorrow. Ooh, I love that. I love a good saying or quote or scripture. I just, I don't know. It's, is it just me? You guys, does something just like hit you and you go, okay, I was meant to see that today. That keeps me going a little while longer. Bye, beta five. Okay, I'm not. What's that say? Life is a journey, not a destination. Oh, it's that, all right. Until you get to your destination. It's this one. This precious child, I pray God's perfect peace would fill your every day. When you lie to sleep, you would not fear, knowing that his ang angels are always near. And every morning that you rise, you'll find joy in the task of discovering life. And as you grow up in all that you do, you'll know that his love is surrounding you. Unfortunately, children born now will never be able to read that. I mean, it's true. They're not teaching cursive anymore. Ugh, I'm bummed that that's missing tiles. I would have totally picked that up. Okay, over in the purses, this caught my eye. I love that. It's it's all braided. It's 10 bucks, but oh, is that what's going on here? It's coming undone. Oh, I totally would have picked that up if that wasn't coming undone up there because that's pretty cool, but can't do it. Can't do it with the damage. What is this little patchwork boho number here? makes you let's see do you have a name are you named i don't think you have a name nope nope if i had this i'd have to be saying i went through the desert with a purse with no name it also had no price tag so even if we wanted it we couldn't get it all right i don't see anything terribly exciting oh that's really that's not good <laughs> all right we're gonna head over to the jewelry and see what we can find I am just not really seeing anything I kind of like put a halt right now to picking up like I, I usually pick up these kind of vintage boho wood bead um, but I've got so much jewelry to deal with right now. I have to give that a little, a little hiatus. I still have some that I haven't even listed. So that's 
sometimes that, you know, is my, my thing too. Like how far am I into my stock of things that are waiting to be listed? So when I'm looking through here, I'm looking for just something that's like too spectacular, not to pick up right now. And I'm not seeing anything. If I miss something, let me know. So I'm trying to decide if I want to keep this white or if I want to paint it another color. I kind of like it white. I went to Home Depot and I got some hibiscus plants. These are just the right size for planting in the fall so that in the spring, hopefully they will be producing some beautiful flowers for all the tortoises. Yeah, do you, do you approve, Cora? Do you approve? You like it? I'm super happy with this little piece. And uh, I thought I would share it with you. So with that, you go be profitable and make it fun. We'll see you on the next one.